hello guys welcome to yet another episode in this video we want to talk about social anxiety and what you can do to overcome social anxiety I will start with a story or even a letter from a Ghanaian lady who has been uh, who has developed social anxiety after being sexually abused all right so let me read the letter first hi dr. Dan I am a 25 year old university female student in Ghana I was sexually abused severally by my uncle when I was 14 years old when I told my mom about this sexual abuse she told me not to tell anyone since she didn't want anyone to report to the police she was afraid my uncle will, will be caught by the police the sexual abuse really affected my life a lot growing up i became so afraid of men or boys even when guys in my class wanted to be friends with me i started avoiding guys who wanted to be friends with me at the age of 23 years, I was able to start a relationship with a guy in my university which lasted for only three months. After having an affair with me, he found many excuses to break up with me. I am now even more afraid of men after this relationship. After this breakup, I started thinking that I do not have that much value as a woman for a man to be in a relationship with me. My classmates have been laughing at me whenever a teacher or a lecturer asks me a question in class and I get it wrong. Because of this, I have been afraid to answer questions in class, church or even to speak in public whenever there is a program in my community. My question is, what is happening to me and what can I do about it? So now, let's look at the first question which is, what is happening to me? So I think you are dealing with social anxiety disorder. So when we talk about social anxiety, we are talking about the fear which is associated with going to social settings. So you may be so afraid when you have to meet new people, when you have to talk in public, when you have to go to a social gathering. This is what we mean when we say someone is going through social anxiety. And of course, it has to be persistent before we can call it social anxiety. In your case, you have developed the fear of men or boys just because you were sexually abused by your uncle. You've also developed that fear to speak in class just because you had some questions wrong and they laughed at you. So I think we are talking about social anxiety here. Alright, so your next question is what can you do to overcome social anxiety? Number one, avoid caffeine or caffeinated beverages. So caffeine is high in coffee, chocolate and also soda. There are a lot of studies that have shown that caffeine can increase mood disorders including anxiety. So if you want to reduce your social anxiety, cut down or reduce your intake of caffeine. Number two, get sufficient amounts of sleep. So because social anxiety is a mood disorder, getting enough sleep can definitely help to reduce your social anxiety. Studies have shown that people who don't sleep sufficiently at night have problems in terms of their mood disorders so getting about eight hours of sleep at night can definitely help you to reduce your social anxiety the third point is identify and change the negative thoughts that makes you anxious or afraid in social situations all right so you develop a fear for men just because you were sexually abused by your uncle you know when you were younger so you are likely to develop a negative thought that all men will abuse you um, sexually. So because of this negative thought, you don't want to go closer to men or any guy. So if you can change this negative thought and replace it with the fact that not every man will abuse you sexually, this can make your social anxiety reduce. Again, you also develop a negative thought that whenever you get a question wrong in class, your friends will laugh at you so you don't want to even attempt to answer questions again if you can change this thought that there will be times that if you answer a question people will not laugh at you even if you get it wrong then your social anxiety will reduce the fourth point is engage in regular exercise of course when you engage in regular exercise there are studies that have shown that engaging in regular exercise can definitely improve your mood and therefore help you to reduce your social anxiety 
number five, I would say you have to engage in some realization techniques. So for example, if you can do some realization exercise like progressive muscle realization, where you tense the various muscle groups in your body and then release them, this can definitely make you feel better and therefore reduce your social anxiety. Maybe I have to do a whole new video on how to do progressive muscle realization um, next time. All right, so we've come to the end of yet another video. Share this video with a friend who is going through social anxiety to help them. Um, comment at the comment section. Also subscribe to this channel. I'll see you in the next video.